the world's efforts to end Africa's deadliest wars are failing. Endless peace talks and expensive peacekeeping missions have not ended conflicts in Sudan, South Sudan, Somalia, the Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Over 9 million people have perished in the last 20 years, a figure without parallel globally. As it stands now, atrocity crimes pay. The perpetrators and facilitators of violence benefit, and the world imposes little cost. In response, we created the Sentry to investigate the war economies that sustain Africa's deadliest conflicts. The Sentry supports efforts to dismantle the illegal networks that allow violent and corrupt governments and rebel leaders to fund war and enrich themselves by hijacking the state and its natural resources. The Sentry uses financial analysis and in-depth investigations to follow the money and map the networks of violence. We work with governments, the UN, and civil society organizations around the world to dismantle these networks. War economies do their most obvious damage in conflict zones. Mass rape, child soldier recruitment, aerial bombing, and village burning. But they sustain themselves through the smuggling and trafficking of gold, diamonds, other valuable minerals, ivory, and the theft of state resources. These shadow economies extend all the way to boardrooms in New York, London, Geneva, Dubai, and other international financial centers, where money and assets are the most vulnerable and exposed to the reach of law enforcement and regulatory authorities. Real leverage for peace and human rights will come when the people who benefit from war will pay a price for the damage they cause. These are the world's deadliest war zones, and as long as the benefits of war outweigh the costs, the killing will never stop. <laughs>